Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're tackling a pretty important question, is Brave legit? Now we've been testing this browser out for a while, diving deep into its features, performance, and all the controversies that have surrounded it. And of course, we want to share our honest thoughts with you. First things first, no, we're not going to uncover some crazy earth-shattering conspiracy here, but we do want to break down everything from the controversies to the privacy features and give you the tools to make an informed decision on whether Brave is the right browser for you. Brave's been around for a bit now, and for those of you who don't know, it's based on Chromium, the same engine that powers Chrome. But here's the kicker. It was founded by Brendan Eich, the creator of JavaScript and co-founder of Mozilla, the company behind Firefox. So yeah, this guy has been around web browsers for a long time. Brave was designed with one main thing in mind, privacy. The idea was to block out all the annoying ads and trackers that slow down your browsing experience and invade your privacy. Sounds good, right? But that's where things start to get a bit complicated. Let's address the elephant in the room, the controversies surrounding Brave. Some of you may have heard of them, especially if you've been following our channel for a while. So what's all the fuss about? The biggest controversy comes from the browser's founder, Brendan Eich, and some of his past political donations. Back in the day, Eich made a donation to a group that was campaigning against same-sex marriage in California. This sparked some pretty heated debates, with many people claiming that because of this, Brave is somehow guilty by association. We're not here to dive into that specific issue too much, but it's definitely something to be aware of. Now, let's move on to something else that raised eyebrows. How Brave handles ads. Instead of bombarding you with ads from big networks, Brave lets you earn cryptocurrency by watching ads. Yeah, it sounds cool in theory, but here's the catch. The crypto you earn, called Basic Attention Tokens, BAT, fluctuates in value. And let's face it, a lot of people just aren't on board with cryptocurrencies, especially if they feel like it's just another gimmick. But wait, there's more. In 2020, Brave got caught up in an affiliate code issue where they were inadvertently swapping affiliate links for some users. Now they quickly fixed the issue, but it still left a bad taste in people's mouths. So while it wasn't as bad as some other browser related scandals, it did hurt Brave's reputation a bit. Now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about the actual performance of Brave. We've tested it and we'll be honest, Brave holds up pretty well compared to other browsers. On the Speedometer 3 benchmark, Brave performs really well. In fact, it's often up there with the best, although it does have some issues depending on the platform. On Windows, Brave doesn't outperform Google Chrome or Vivaldi, and it's the same story on Mac. But interestingly, it does better than Firefox in most benchmarks. As far as privacy goes, Brave actually excels here. When it comes to privacy tests, it consistently scores the highest blocking trackers and ensuring that your data is protected. And let's not forget about Brave Shields. These help block ads, cookies, and trackers by default, which means you'll have a much cleaner browsing experience. But, and this is important, it's not all smooth sailing. Because Brave's privacy features are so strict, some websites might not work as expected. You could encounter broken pages or missing elements since some websites rely on trackers to function properly. It's a bit of a trade-off, but if you're someone who values privacy over convenience, you might appreciate this, the cryptocurrency side of things. We've got to talk about this because it's a huge part of Brave's ecosystem, cryptocurrency. Brave rewards you for your attention by showing you ads, and in return, you earn Bati tokens. You can exchange these tokens for other cryptocurrencies or gift them to your favorite content creators. Honestly though, this feature is pretty divisive. Some people love it while others see it as unnecessary and overly complicated. And while you can opt out of this feature, it does raise some eyebrows in a time when cryptocurrencies are already so controversial. As for other features, Brave offers a VPN and a firewall built right into the browser. While some people appreciate the extra privacy, others have found it a bit buggy, especially on Windows devices. Additionally, Brave is pushing into the Web3 space, adding things like AI integration and even its own search engine to provide users with a more private search experience. 
It's clear that Brave is trying to innovate and diversify. But again, some users feel like these Web3 editions just muddy the waters. You might be wondering, how does Brave make money? Well, since it's an open source browser, there's no direct revenue from user data. Instead, Brave relies on its cryptocurrency ecosystem, which, let's be honest, isn't exactly a proven model yet. So, is Brave legit? Well, it definitely has its pros and cons. If privacy is your number one priority, Brave's a solid choice. It blocks trackers, speeds up your browsing experience, and respects your data. But if you're not a fan of crypto or the occasional clunky browsing experience, it might not be the right fit for you. At the end of the day, Brave is a browser that's trying to do things differently, and that's something we can appreciate. Just make sure you weigh the pros and cons before diving in. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried Brave? Would you recommend it? Or do you prefer another browser? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.